Okay, I have purchased 30 uh, shipping damaged and uh, installation damaged solar panels. Uh, these are all bifacial. Um, you can see some of them got cracks, some's got little spider marks up in the corner and stuff. But uh, I have tested every one that, that I've bought so far, and they all seem to be performing at uh, 90 to 100 percent of what they're rated at. And I've got a total of 32, and uh, the ones down on the bottom are actually 455 watt bifacials. So anyhow, I have also ordered a, a complete solar off-grid system from Signature Solar that should be here in two weeks. And uh, now I need to get busy and actually uh, plan on how I'm going to install it. And I've got this big shed here. It's 50 foot long, 12 foot high, and it's got a, a gable roof, but uh, most of it is... Uh, is, is I would consider it almost flat so I've got plenty of room to put solar panels up here and I've got a hundred foot fence back there but uh, in the winter time there's a lot of shadows cast by all those trees down there and so in order to to get a productive system out of that I'd have to knock down almost all of those trees which I'm reluctant to do uh, because I think they're nice looking and uh, anyhow I'm planning on uh, I was going to plan on putting a, a shed in the behind this shed but I think I can wall off a little closet space in that back corner over there by that window and actually uh, install the uh, batteries and uh, the um, the inverters in there so back here where this uh, zero turn motor is it's where I throw all my junk and stuff and surplus crap uh, anyhow that's uh, that's six foot across there and then that's about four foot so I'll make it like a four foot by six foot closet and uh, the, the batteries come in a cart and it's just a roll around cart and I think the two inverters will fit nicely on that wall I need to go get some plywood and uh, box that in put uh, some studs out here actually make that into a closet uh, it does get cold in here in the winter I'm in the Houston area so it doesn't get terribly cold but sometimes it gets freezing uh, the worst of it in January so I'll have to put some sort of heater in there as well but this is the first step 